Am I am I live now? No, not yet. Maybe I should check if I can duel now. Okay. Okay, I seem to be live right now. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna have to surrender this. I've been having a lot of technical difficulties with trying to start this train. Hold up. Alright, this won't count for what I'm about to do. So, third time's the charm, I'm going to explain what I'm doing. Hello everyone, my name is Moody Guts Gamer, and today I'm going to be uh, doing a little challenge for myself. Where if I, um, if I lose, chat gets to add a card from, uh, add a card to my deck. And if I lose three times, chat gets to replace a card. Um, replace one of my cards with a new one. So yeah. I'm using Dark... Once again, I'm using Dark Magician because it's very flexible. And I'm using a bunch of random hand traps because they might help. Who knows? I've been trying to get this stream started for like twice now. So third time's the charm. Womp womp. Yep. Womp womp indeed. Welcome to the stream, Yuka. Oh boy. How am I? Nothing? Yeah, I know, right? What's this? Meteor of Destruction. If your opponent's life points are higher than 3,000, inflict 1,000 damage. Uh, oh, hey, I can do something like this. Uh, if you took battle damage or... Alright, I don't know how to use Magic Karibo, but I'm gonna use it. Calling me Maidenless? I don't think you're Maidenless. Alright, I'm a special summon my boy. Goblin Thief again, they just have a bunch of burn cards. This isn't even good burn. EXE. Okay, draw. We ha we're not going to lose yet. We're at a pretty good uh, situation right now, actually. Max C. Well, I don't think I'm going to be special summoning. Can you wish uh, my friend Ambalto Cam. Happy birthday. Uh, Alright, happy birthday, Ambo. Okay. Ooh, that's a... That's some good cards. What was the other one? Okay, it was Magician Souls and Magic Rebo. Gonna activate Upstart Goblin. Just once. And then we're gonna go into uh, Dark Magician. 
This should be like enough to kill, right? I think so. Hmm. Oh hey, I can... Ah, may your... ...be many, and your days few. Big ass shoe. Welcome back, Moody. <laughs> it's good to be back. <laughs> also, welcome back to the stream firewall. Okay. So, hold up, how does, how does this one work? Oh, that requires chaos and ritual. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Now question, is this enough to kill? I don't think so, but I'll try my best. But yeah, it's good to be back. Granted, I have a couple of, like scuffed moments trying to start this stream. I had Wi-Fi problems for no reason. I think, I think t technology just naturally hates me, you know? Maybe that's just a thing. I feel like I would not survive the, the android apocalypse. When AI takes over, I'm probably going to be the first one to get shut down. <laughs> oh fuck, a Time Lord. Wait, what does this one do? Uh, return as many cards to the hand. Okay. That's cool. Drop. Okay. Mm, we can... We can do some things. Activate... Soul Servant. Figure out what I should put to the top of my deck. Maybe another magician souls and like activate upstart. I think we're gonna win this turn actually. Or yeah. All we need to do is, um, is like banish the the guy. Oh wait, oh wrong spell, wrong effect. I, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Oh, I guess some things never change. I'm back to I'm back to misclicking. These are dark magicians mm, while they're on the field. Yeah, I definitely done fucked up. You already know what I'm gonna ask you to add? Yep, I, I definitely know. <laughs> Honestly, it's not a matter of if, only when. Uh, I'm gonna end my turn. Yujo? 
Yeah, I definitely know you're gonna uh, ask me to add Yujo. I'm only gonna go for Yujo first. I don't have the card, but I have the I have the materials, and I'm down to I'm down to do it for the bit. The bit. You ever realize that and do it for the bit is basically just the the modern version of do it for the vine? Oh, oh hey, I caught you. All right, and I'm assuming another burn card, so I basically just win next turn. I could have won this turn, but I misclicked. <laughs> Draw. Oh, hey, Eternal Soul. That's nice. Oh wait, 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 wait. Secret barrel? Am I dead? Hold on. I need to get rid of as many cards as I possibly can. Was big damage. Oh man, that was kind of scary. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, if they had like a a better time lord, they probably could have won. All right, so far we have not l lost. That was the first duel, but we have not lost. Oh hey, we get to go first. That's nice. Okay, uh, this is a little awkward, not gonna lie. To use magician's soul. Uh, send to the graveyard. Dark magician. Special summon dark magician. Soul Servant. I think I should put, uh, probably, oh man. Hold up, hold up. Oh yeah, I didn't get to tell you guys, um, I think I broke my controller again. <laughs> I basically broke it a second time. And the way I did it this time is that I basically, um... So I've been playing a lot of... of I'm, I was trying to play a bunch of fighting games. And I was trying to practice doing a quarter circle. And I'm assuming that by doing so many quarter circles, I ended up breaking my controller. <laughs> so now, like... It will randomly want to go to the left. The the analog stick, I mean. Yeah, I think it, I think it's about time I get myself a new controller. <laughs> Hold on.
like even like excluding the the right analog stick which goes up forever like i feel like the left analog stick constantly going to the left is a lot more detrimental <laughs> oh wait what okay array of avarice that's not how the avarice cards work <gasps> seventh ascension oh shoot we're fighting against a shark deck Okay, how does this card work again? The most liberal controller I've ever seen. Yeah, constantly going to the left. Gosh darn liberal. Alright. Uh, I think I'm gonna fuse both of my, my Dark Magicians. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Use both my Dark Magicians, summon the Dark Magicians. And then use Upstart mm, Goblin to, to get two, to basically draw two instead of three, mm, instead of one. But yeah, quarter. Wait, can this summon special summon? Oh, hey, Magician Souls can special summon Dark Magician Girl. I didn't know that. I always thought that it was only Dark Magician. Ow. Joy-Con? What's a Joy-Con? Ah, shit. It's this, it's Barry and Chaos draw. What does it do again? Uh, to activate this card, you must draw it for your normal draw. Send one seventh card. This effect becomes that spell's effect. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nintendo, oh, switch thing? Oh, is that what the, the little, Ah shit, I didn't mean to do that. Is that what the little thingamabob that you play up with the that you take apart with called? Seventh Ascension. Ah oh, boy. What does this card do? Take one card, add a variant spell trap or seventh magic. And either add it to your hand or place it on top of the deck. If your opponent controls a monster, special summon from the extra deck, you can banish this card, then target one card. Oh boy. I mean, I really do need to learn how to play this deck, because I do want to um, I do want to edit my shark deck again. Uh, no, you're not allowing that. Nice try, buddy boy. There's too many ultra rares though. It's kind of annoying. Alright, here comes the Karibo. I'm special summoning the Dark Magician from the grave. It's a good thing that Karibo doesn't target. Hi, hello Aerodeku, welcome to the stream. Ha, ah, nice try, buddy boy. You just got wizard pranked. Drop. Oh, hey, Tamias. Uh, send. You could send one spellcaster monster or one spell trap. With no monsters left on the field, I summon Dark Magician and attack your <laughs> life points directly. Hell yeah. Uh, what does this card do? Target one number XZ's monster. Uh, okay. Ooh, okay. This is kind of good. Gonna activate Illusion of Chaos. We're gonna. 
Add Magician's Rod to the hand. Remember that commercial? I've heard of it. Like the whole like normal summoning Dark Magician without any like cards or whatever. Hmm. I think we're gonna add. We're gonna add Magician Salvation actually. I feel like this duel is going to be a lot longer than I think. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to send away this guy. Summon Tamias. Special summon, uh... Dark Magician Girl, I guess? Wait, I can summon them from the graveyard, right? You can target one of those monsters, special summon from your graveyard. Alright. Or maybe I should... Sp I don't know what to do. It's giving me too many choices. Okay, second duel. I feel like we're gonna win this second duel as well. Kind of boring, to be honest. I was expecting to lose a lot more. Especially since... Um, no offense to Dark Magician players, but Dark Magician kind of sucks. <laughs> Alright. There will be new Dark Magician support? Really? Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense because, you know, as long as, as long as it gives Kom uh, Konami money, they're gonna add more Dark Magician support. Right, there was like a card that's like Chaos, right? Like the whole, like, it's like Blue Eyes White Dragon, but with, uh, Dark Magician of Chaos. Technically Dark Magician support? Technically. Because you could use Illusion Chaos to fusion summon it. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna activate Magician Souls. Uh, what would I want to... What would I want to add, now that I have both Dark, Mag uh, Dark Magical Circle, Soul Servant, and Eternal Soul? Next Saturday, the new support is coming out? Nice! I have something really... ...freaking si- oh! Really silly? Uh... You wanna tell me? Also, welcome to the stream, Pretzel! Glad to have you here. Okay. Uh, so we act- So the way this works, we activate Dark Magical Circle. And then we chain Soul Servant. I don't know what we want to add though. I guess the fusion spell? I mean, we don't really have any- No, no. We don't really have any spell casters. Or- Yeah. Um... Maybe I messed up. I think I really did mess up the combo. Add designated card. Yes. Okay, activate this, Soul Servant. The Dark Magician movie card, Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Tribute two level six or higher spellcasters to get a 3200 beat stick 
and a non once per turn trap negate. You want me to make a gimmick deck out of that? I'm down. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna activate Soul Servant. And then we're gonna put this card on top. We're gonna activate Upstart. Normal Summon Magician's Rod. That's my ad if you lose. I'm assuming that's how oh, this works. Oh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, every time I lose, uh, chat adds one card. Uh, I'm gonna add Magician Salvation. Or wait, no, no, that's not a good card to put in. Oh, whatever. Okay, Magician's Rod. Yep, it's the Magician's Rod. Rod of the Magician. Uh, I'm gonna end my turn. Oh, speaking of Max C, apparently they're going to. What the? Mm. Oh boy, this is gonna look like a, this is about to look like a lost game. When do we get the the mm, the card magician girl's peach? Mm, I don't know. Uh, by the way, speaking of Max C. Apparently they added a new, like, they're gonna add a new card in the TCG that's literally just max C but balanced. I forgot what it's called, like, something chummy. Something chummy fish. It's like a, it's like a little squid. Yeah, worse max C, that bully's <laughs> That's very true. It, it just targets flu for no reason. Oh, it's a burn deck. I am probably gonna die. Yeah, you get to draw only when the opponent summons from the hand. Yeah, I think the whole point is might might be to to, to deal with flu and maybe snake eyes and maybe tear. I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of strange to add. Though it makes me wonder if like, if it gets added to the to the OCG, will they ban Max C? That's one thing that's making me curious about all, the whole deal. Because like, it's very obvious it's supposed to replace it. So that, it's just like a possibility now. Jelly C will keep the the combo decks in check for real for real. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. It also just mulligans things out. Like once you or not mulligans, but like, you know, once you have like more than six cards at the end phase, it basically just you basically have to put them all back until you have like six cards. What is Flu doing anyway? I have no idea. Probably activating Dimension Shifter. Okay, I'm gonna have to take out one of these burn cards. <laughs> they have another Maxi. God, fuck. Damn, this makes me wish I have dark magic attack. <laughs> Wait, why didn't they... Oh yeah, Prada... Pot of Prosperity. I forgot about that. It keeps him from drawing. 
How is Fariant, uh, the circular sorcerer, a uh, small nurse, an insect? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen that card yet. Alright. They probably have another Gravedigger's Trap poem. Oh, they don't. It is possible that they may ban Maxi in the OCG, but a card needs uh, to stay on the ban list for a bit before Konami prints a more balanced version. Hmm. That is true. So maybe they'll they'll ban it, but and they'll wait like a couple of months to add the Jelly C. build your deck? I have considered it, but the thing is, is that I feel like it would take a while. Because I have to wait for you guys to be on stream first, and, you know, I get a little anxious when I'm doing nothing. Especially when I'm on my quote-unquote job. Why did they activate Ring of Destruction? It didn't even burn me yet. Or did it? Hey, what's the goofiest goober of a card art? Alright. I must say Phantom um Dewan. He's a ma he's a Magalore. It's just Magalore. I don't know. There was one card that I could think of, but I don't remember the name. They unbanned Kirin in the TCG. I'm genuinely amazed. Yeah, they finally released the Kir- the- the whatever his name is, Kirin. Honestly, that ban list was fucking insane. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Like, it's kind of, it's kind of wild that they, un, that they actually banned Baron. They banned Baron, and they banned, uh, Borlode Savage Dragon, which actually surprised me. Your job is to keep us entertained, and you ain't getting paid enough for your service. Yeah, I'm literally getting paid zero dollars. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I could summon Tamias. This this would be enough damage. You should add Dark Calvary to your deck. Yeah, it's already there. Ah, shit. I think starting with a 30 card deck core, with start with 10 chat cards, your your choice how, of how many to run, then each lot, so you replace one of it? Hmm, maybe, I don't know. They killed Barone's Savage Dragon, but left Apple alone. Konami doesn't uh, like them white cards? Yeah, apparently so. I'm assuming Apple is alone because it's kind of hard to go into. Like, people usually go into Apo as an end board, like, at the end of their combo. And, Bor and Baron and Savage Dragon are usually there before the, uh, the combo reaches 5 summons. What else did they ban? Hold on, I need to remember what else they banned. They banned Summon Limit. I'm gonna check the, the thing again. 
Someone that meant was banned? Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Summon limit was banned. I'm gonna look for it. Hold up. Am I dead? Oh, hey, I'm dead. Hey! So did Baron. The, uh, it's the Konami way of uh, to print something that was previously expensive, then ban it. <laughs> yeah, I've been hearing about the Konami uh, money tactics. All right, so, sorcerer time? Sure. Uh, what was the sorcerer called again? Hold on, I'm gonna check through chat. Maybe, maybe I could find it. Sorcerer of Dark Magic, all right. Of Dark Magic. I actually wanna talk about the, the ban list. Yeah, they, they hit Link Karibo. They hit Link Karibo because of Snake Eye. Especially since, like, Snake, uh, Link Karibo is really, combos really well with, um, with, uh, Snake Eye. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Imagine if I actually summon this guy. Dark Magician from Wish? Exactly. Alright, let me check the rest of the ban list. I remember seeing it, so yeah, they hit Link Rebo, Baron, Borderload, Savage Dragon, Summon Limit. They limited Tidal, which is pretty great. Protoss, which honestly baffles my brain. I don't know why would they unban Prot Protoss of all cards. Like, as someone who actually likes playing Protoss in Sword Soul, uh, Protoss should be banned. Or Protoss? I don't know if it's Protoss or Protoss. Thunder Dragon Colossus also got uh, unbanned. It's now limited. I'm assuming that the reason why they did that for was be was to counter like Snake Eyes in some way. It's probably you know, for the best. Link Rube owes a ticking time bomb anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it was bound to get abused at some point. Oh hey, I can send I get sent Sorcerer of Dark Magic, that's funny. But yeah, it it just takes like one good level one deck and like and like Link Rebo would get abused. Malicious to three though? Yeah, I'm also surprised about it at that. I'm honestly scared of the potential link plays now. Wait, hold on. I should probably activate Secrets of Dark Magic. <laughs> hold up. I messed up. I should have activated Secrets of Dark Magic first. But yeah. Also, like, hero players are definitely going to be going for three malicious as well. They're going to go back to the old days where they just brick with three <laughs> malicious in hand. Honestly, to how efficient decks are nowadays, running three bricks in your deck might not be worth it. Hmm. Maybe. Ancient Fairy Dragon. Avita's <laughs> Avita still at three. Yep. Ancient Fairy Dragon did get unbanned a long time ago. Thankfully with an errata. And I'm kinda happy about it because, you know, I feel bad for Ancient Fairy Dragon getting, like, banned all of a sudden. 
They also put anti-spell fragrance to 1, so I'm really glad that they're hitting the floodgates while also bringing back floodgates. I don't know what Konami's doing to be honest. Five hardest cards to pronounce attempt these are Gogika Gakagigo, Gogika Gakagigo, uh, ben, ha ben Ha Lancer the Resurgent, Below for Furnishes, the Darkest uh, Dragon Doom Ride. Hmm. Cool. Also, they, um, what else did they unlimit? They they also unlimit Harp Horror and Terra Top, which I kind of forgot that they did that. It's good that Harp Horror is back to three. Also, Sky Striker Mobilize Engage is at three. <laughs> and I don't see anyone talking about it. I think that would, that's honestly really scary. The last two are fucking impossible. Too bad. Hmm. I think I'm mm, the only idiot that uses a Vita uh, Rebuilder of Worlds. I mean, to be fair, a Vita is really hard to summon. It's a really good card, it's just really hard to summon. Oh no, it's Gyo. Oh, there it goes. There they go. Wait, isn't this permanent? The like the battle position cannot uh, monsters that were flipped down, flipped by this effect cannot change their battle positions. Why did they do that then? I love Sh Adidas Shoemaker of Girls. It was my first pull on the Yu-Gi-Oh pack. Nice. 3500 attack, that's gotta be OP. Yep. Harp Horror. What uh, is Orcus doing? Nothing. Terra Top uh, MX Saber is banned, so it can come back. And Engage was unlimited uh, to advertise Sky Strikers. Yeah. Oh, the Sky Striker manga. Oh yeah. I am scared for like going plus three with, or potentially plus six with, uh, with Sky Striker Mobilize Engage. That's honestly scary to imagine. Really hard to summon, but feels good and so satisfying. Yeah, that's why I like those hard to summon cards. We can now run three engage, three upstart, and one chicken game? Fuck. <laughs> Sky Strikers are coming back, baby. You know, I remember that someone on Twitter actually mentions how this is basically toss format again. Like, we have an unbanned Colossus. Uh, Sky Striker Mobilize Engage is back to three. Uh, Orcus is also back to three. Like, this is basically toss format. Literally 2019. Who's choosing in the next monster card? Uh, it depends on, on, uh, I don't know, it depends on who says it and, uh, and kind of what I would decide. I will say though, um, since, hold on, who, who's the one that suggested, uh, oh shoot, oh no, they attributed my boy. Oh man, 
I really need to keep it in mind of like who suggests the cards. Hmm. You know, because I want like every uh, as many people as possible to like suggest the cards. Ancient Fairy Dragon and Adidas, I believe, were the requests in DM. Maybe. You know Baron uh, Band stir up a, a discussion in the community? Baron being gone made a lot of weaker rogue decks a lot worse. Yeah, pretty much. They have to now go into like... I feel like now they have to go for more like... What's the word? Like interesting uh, com unorthodox con uh, and boards now like maybe clear wing like maybe crystal clear wing synchro dragon or to spot her there are a lot of generic cards it's just that you can't really compare them to baron there's also fd drag racer it's not gonna replace uh baron but it is pretty good Hmm. Oh boy, this looks like another loss. But with all the respect, if your deck is just a shell oh, for summoning Baron plus Apo, maybe you're not really playing a good deck. Yeah, I kinda I kinda feel that in a way. Like, yeah, it's pretty great to... Uh, like, yeah, it's really great to go into powerful cards like that as an end board, but if that's your only end board, it's not really that strong, really. Hello? Hello, Noah! Welcome to the stream! Great to have you back. Guess what? Today's my birthday. I've turned 18. Nice! Happy birthday, Omen Heart. It's so sad all the meme cards like Celtic Guardian and Noble Arms need need a bunch of Celtic Guardians, yeah. Not to mention how Barone makes the meta decks e uh, even harder to beat because every deck can make her, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty freaking tough, I guess, yeah. I don't know what other words to use. But yeah, Baron is really strong. I remember when I first saw Baron in Master Duel that I thought that it was kind of... Kind of... In, kind of insane. Like, I even thought to myself, like, Sword Soul would have been a lot more bearable to deal with if Baron didn't exist. Because they just have a tanky boss monster and one monster negate, and that's it. But because of Baron, they just become way stronger. Ah, shit. Next time you lose, uh, add Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon? You know what? Sure. People should de be demanding support for the archetype they want to see buffed, not more generic uh, Omni Negates. Yeah, I feel like there shouldn't be... I feel like Omni Negates should only be based off of an archetype. And like, uh... Omni Negates should be based off of an archetype and... Like, there should just be regular negates that are generic, or maybe like as little negates as possible. Because I would love to see like more interactions than just, you know, a card saying no, you know? But yeah, I'll be sure to add Chaos Dragon. Um, after, if I, if I lose this. 
Which, to be honest, I feel like I'll win. Unless you rot and baron with the effect can cannot be summoned during the first turn. Uh, wait, what does this card do? Wait, original? Like, are we talking about Chaos Max or or like the 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 regular rare, like the small one? Are we sure that when I lose, um, I'll look at both of them. I'm pretty sure I have Chaos Max. I bought the... Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Ah, shit. Am I dead? Ah, shit, I'm dead. Oh, Chaos Max was the original. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> All right, well, I lost the ninjas. So, time to add another card. I've lost twice now, so th you guys can not only add a card, but you can also replace one of my cards. I forgot to say that. Um, they can stack. Like, both the, the, the loss and the, the three losses can stack. Oh boy, I wish I could fix my controller. Hold up. I say flyfang. If we have flyfang, we can yeah, we can legally add o fish. Really? All right, I'm going to put Oh shit. Oh man, my controller is going to kill me. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Guys, help. Help. My left controller is going to the left, and my other controller is going up. Why does bad things only ever happen to me? Okay, okay, hold up. Hold. hold. Oh, criminy. And replace Magician's Circle? Um. Uh, well, until... Until I lose, lose the third time. Hold up. Holy fuck! Holy shit, this controller! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> God, this is my greatest nightmare. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, my left, my left can't, my... My left controller is actually controlled now. Sorry if I bumped into the mic. Oh god. Okay. Okay. We have we have we have Chaos Max Dragon with no way to summon it. Push down on the joystick. It it also does something. Okay. Ooh. But yeah, I didn't know that Flypin can add O fish. Change upstart for and goblin for Elfish. Hmm, maybe. Also, welcome to the stream, Ian. Glad to have you here. Like, what's the difference between t and the loser who sets five and passes, and the other loser who summons three Omni gates and passes? I guess the only difference is time. Because you can just set 5 and pass, but, like, you know, there's a long combo to go into 3 Omni gates. I'm going first? What? Uh, okay. No, Fly Flanking is the art of O Fish. Oh. Next, you can choose the ritual of your choice. Uh, I'd rather have, like, chat decide everything for me. Uh, I'm gonna add to my hand, uh, this one. Ok, 
Okay, activate the, uh, the soul of the magician. We're gonna send this card and special summon your boy. I guess. Okay, activate this. Oh shit. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed it. <laughs> Damn it. Ah. Oh. oh no, this is not looking good for me, boy. <laughs> Chat, this is not looking good for me. I didn't activate the Magician's Rod. Butterfingers, yep. My fingers are truly made of butter. Ah, fuck! <laughs> oh no! Yep, I am going to lose. Okay, as long as they don't have the Abel Star, I think I'm okay. They have reasoning. Ah, shit. Um, okay, okay. Uh, oh, fuck. I have to choose between 1, 7, and 8. Uh, I think... I think the Abel Star might be the most threatening one. Oh, oh, no. Oh no, it's Infernoids. Oh hey, they have Maxi. Okay. We're good. We're chill. We're big chillin'. Wait, are we actually gonna win against Snake Eyes? <laughs> oh, Snake Eyes Infernoid, to be more specific. Uh, what does this guy do? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, shoot. I just realized I... Oh. I just moved my left analog stick, and now I'm scared for my life. Imagine if Sprite had a way to bounce the max seed that they just summoned. Yeah, that would be insane. Dude, Maxi would have been banned in the OCG a long time ago. That's how insane that would be. Okay. Okay. We're gonna add the... What's it called? That's Void Feast if you're playing against Infernoids. I don't know what Void Feast does. Well, I mean, I could just check. Uh, hold on. Void Launch, Void Feast. Send one Void Spell Trap. Special Summon up to three Infernoids from your deck. Okay. Um. I'm still not sure. Did I win? No. Okay. Okay, we're gonna send away the Magician's Rod. Goodbye, Rod. Haven't seen Infernoids in quite a bit. Yeah, but I feel like we're gonna see them a lot more in the future because they have a new Link monster. I think in the OCG? Or is it TCG as well? I don't remember. But yeah, they have a new Link monster. And honestly, that's kind of scary. Because it basically ignores the whole level restriction that they have.
Yeah, Infernoid Flood. Hmm. That already sounds scary. Okay, Decatron. If this card is normal or special summon, you can send one Infernoid monster from your deck to the hand and increase this level monster's level. Uh oh shit, I didn't use it. Once per turn during your opponent's turn, you contribute one monster. Then turn one card in your graveyard and banish it. No. Monster Gate? Oh no! Oh, so that's why they play Monster Gate. Dark Hole. Lair of Darkness? Oh no. Oh, <laughs> they summoned the. the Godzilla guy. Okay, and now they summon, uh, ya boy. How am I winning this? I'm just thinking to myself about that. How am I... Maybe it's because it's Infernoid's pre-support. But like, still. It's funny that you're able to just normal summon a kaiju. Yeah, I I really want to I really want to see the scenario where you just normal summon kaiju. <laughs> Wait, what? This card attacked an opponent's monster, you can banish one card on the field. Yeah, sorry about that, Chief. I'm not allowing that. I am unaffected. And so are my cards. Alright. Illusion of Chaos, that's kind of neat. Hey, we won! Man. Kind of expected to lose a lot more. Like, I was literally seeing Snake Eyes. I don't know how I, how I didn't lose. Oh hey, there's Chaos Max Track. <laughs> Hold on, can can the can the mm. if if I can please game game work with me, please please work with me. Okay, 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 it's working now. So, I just want to see, uh... Does this summon... Does this future ritual summon one monster by tripping monsters, including Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, whose total level... Okay, so we can summon it. Hold on, I really want... Wait, shit. No, no wait. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I guess asking... Asking you shall receive because um, <clears throat> I said, man, I really need to lose. And uh, well, this is one way to lose. Who oh boy? Honestly, honestly, it's such a big mistake to have, like, Link 1 monsters. <laughs> like, 
Like when you really think about it. That is quite the mistake that they made. Uh, should I... Should I end my turn? Uh, should I surrender or should I... Um... This is gonna take a while. Hmm. I don't know if I should surrender or not. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what are they? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I think I should surrender. Because they're gonna send away that one. Yeah, that one Cybers that, like, negates. They have the trap card. And they probably have hand traps galore, thanks to... Hmm. Oh hey, Ash Blossom, that would have been so nice last turn. Alright, I'm gonna activate Ash. <laughs> Alright. Normal summon Magician's Rod. Activate Magician's Rod. They're probably gonna negate now. Wait, they're allowing it? Okay. Well, I mean, they're probably gonna negate this anyway. Okay, we're gonna- we're going to attempt to Ritual Summon Chaos Max Dragon. This is just an attempt, and it is a failed attempt at and at that. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, we we lost. Alrighty. All right. So. Now, we add another card, and we replace one of my cards. I have seen a bunch of people uh, talk about what they should replace. So, so maybe I should go for that. Unless, like, someone in chat right now is going to, is, wants me to uh, add and replace a card. Eldritch? Alright. Oh yeah, I remember your- I remember what you said. Uh, you said replace, uh, Upstart with Eldritch, right? <laughs> Alright, here's Eldritch, Bistro Butcher. Yep, I- I knew it. It was never a matter of if, only when. I knew- I knew the Butcher was coming. There he is! I just realized I have 21 of them. I have 21 Bistro Butchers, and I can't dismantle a single one, but why would I? Alright. Not enough. True. Um... Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. We could go into Dark Magician Girl. Some Dark Magician Girl. I love seeing the the random like thirty two hundred attacks uh, spellcaster in my in my deck. Just because I know it's not going to do anything. It's just there. Okay, we're going to fusion summon. This one and this one. I'm going to put 
put this one in defense position. And then we activate upstart. This is basically a pot of greed now. Ooh, Dark Magician Circle. Uh, no. Okay. Hopefully I get something like Soul Servant. Uh, that's... Okay. I mean, at least we can banish now. Okay. Hopefully they don't have a Harpy's Feather Duster. If they have Harpy's Fe Feather Duster, we're basically dead. With a capital D. Hey, mirror match! Why is the D so big? I don't know. Genetics? Honestly, I don't think I see that many Dark Magician mirror matches, so I don't know what's going to happen. Oh hey, they activated the spell card, now I get to draw a card. You know, I'm actually really lucky that I ended up getting uh, Upstart, because now it's at 2, thanks to the Eldritch. Okay. Oh shoot. Oh yeah. This works for them too, so they're gonna draw too. Oh no. That's unfortunate. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, 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 what? Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, wait, how many? Wait, 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 hold up, hold the phone, hold the phone. One, two, three, four, five, five different names, what the fuck? Oh, great. How? How the f- I- Bruh, I don't know what to say. This guy just drew a freaking hand that allows them to go into Quintet Magician. I don't know if I can out this card. Hold on, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. If th this face-up card cannot be distributed nor used as fusion materials, also it cannot be destroyed by card effects. Wait, 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 no! Oh, wait, 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 no! Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I got scared. I got, <laughs> I got scared. I got so scared. I thought he had a second quintet magician and he was about to summon all the second one. Holy fuck. That, that is scary. For the first time, the, the Demon King felt true fear. <sighs> Holy fuck. Okay. Oh wait, shit! Oh no! I messed up. Uh... Hmm. Shit. 
Okay. Wait, what what am I doing? I I'm I I I'm stupid. I'm dumb. I am the the dumbest. Among <laughs> among heaven and earth, I alone am the dumbass. Ah, oh, holy fuck. Oh hey, I just realized I drew my second upstart goblin. Okay, uh, we don't have a link monster that we can go into. God, I fucked up so badly. Okay, um... Is that a card? Yes, we're gonna set our last eternal soul. The soul is not that eternal when you really think about it. I was... I was hoping they'll go into a second quintet magician and then go into a rank 12. That would be terrifying. That should be on like scary master duel screenshots. Like I do not want to I do not want to deal with something like that. They go into Quintet Magician and then go into like seven deadly sins or whatever. That's like the biggest Giga Chad move you will ever see. this. We're going to banish the Quintet Magician. God, I could have banished it last turn, but I was an idiot and I activated the Magician's Souls first. Okay. They're probably going to destroy... I don't know what they're going to do, actually. Hmm. 1984, the book. Literally 1984. Like, damn. Frame by frame, letter by letter, this is 1984. <laughs> okay, we're gonna... S Gonna go into Link Spider. Oh my god! <laughs> Dark Magician Girl is now 2900 attack. Oh wait, oh shit, oh no, oh fuck, ah. Uh. Oh, oh no. I gotta. I gotta hit him with it. <laughs> this is the battle of the eternal souls. <laughs> also gonna hit. I'm also gonna activate Maxi. When the C is maximum. We're basically gonna be removing each other's boards. Well, I mean, I could hit the Eternal Soul, but I think it might be better to hit the the Dark Magicians. Because they're gonna summon a bunch more guys. Oh, wait, what? You can tar banish this card, then target one face up spell trap your opponent controls and negate its effect. Fuck. Uh, 
Oh no. Well, uh, I am. I am dead with a capital D. Um. Well, I basically lost. I have no eternal souls. I have no, um, superior dark magician player. You should put in orbital hydra lander. Sure thing. Orbital hydra. Lander. All right. So far, we have 44 cards. We've lost like four times this this stream, and we replaced one of my cards with Outlitch, which we haven't drawn yet. That would probably be really useful in this deck. Oh shit. Oh man. Uh, hmm. Okay, how will I do this? I activate Magician's Circle, and then I put the soul- I activate the Soul Servant. Owl House? What about the Owl House? Okay, and now we chain Soul Servant, so we can get ourselves, uh... <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be freaking hilarious. Hold up. We're gonna put in uh, uh, <clears throat> Magician Salvation. Okay. We're gonna add the card. Activate Magician Salvation. Activate Magician Salvation. We're gonna set, uh, what's that card called? Eternal Soul. Hopefully we get to draw like another monster. I think I'm gonna special summon Magician Souls. This is gonna be a little crazy, but I'm gonna special summon Magician Souls. Okay, Maxi, that's cool. And I'm gonna hit them with like the biggest plot twist they'll ever see. Am I gonna get ashed? Wow. Alright. That's annoying. Okay. So we have we have a form of interruption with eternal soul. I just really hope <clears throat> that they don't have a feather duster. Okay, Melfi hide and seek. Uh, do I want to destroy that? I think I want... Yeah, I think I might banish that. Use the effect now. Yeah, I feel like that might be annoying to deal with later.
and then we banish it. Marvel vs. Capcom? I honestly really want to try Marvel vs. Capcom one day. Maybe when it gets on sale. Oh, Fractal. Also, welcome to the stream, Firefox uh, underplays. Amazons? Okay, so it's not Melfi. Oh shoot, my alarm went off. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Now question, are they going to summon... Uh... No, I don't think they are. Oh wait, what the... F okay, they are playing... Amazon, Sprite, uh, Tri Brigade. I don't know, I don't know what to think about this. There's a, oh shoot, okay, 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 wait, 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 shit, 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 shit. Oh no, they summoned car Carrot. There's a stand that is too broken, and I more bro and more broken than even Star Platinum and Zawardo. That thing, only one stand can beat it. Are we talking about uh, the World Over Heaven? Or wait, well, technically Star Platinum beat the World Over Heaven. Never mind. Then again, there's also. Made in heaven. Hmm. I don't know. There's also like stands that I don't know in part eight. Nope. That is. That one is not canon. It's actually a wonder of you. Oh. I think I remember hearing about that. That's the. That's a stand in part eight, right? Oh hey, by the way, this is my first time summoning Chaos Max Dragon. <laughs> Yay! Like, from my own, uh... From my own deck, rather than like a... Loner deck. But yeah, I think I did hear about Wonder of Hue somewhere. I should really read the 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 JoJo manga, especially since I feel like Part Seven is not gonna come out in a very long time. The flow of calamity itself, even if you think about the uh, the stand user, the stand's ability. Activates per uh, pursuit, pursuits them, and uh, they're wait. The stand ability activates pursuit, and then their ability activates. Hmm, interesting. So you can't really. So it's kind of like a whole don't think, don't uh, don't think of it type of stand where like if you think of it, it just comes after you. Hmm. Basically, the uh, the only thing to prevent it is to make the stand user pursue you. Oh, interesting. Boy, 
This is not looking good for me. I have one big dragon and they have a bunch of little guys. Okay, they're going to perish it. Now they have Tri Brigade Revolt. But hell, Dirty Deeds done, Dirt Cheap, D4C, Love Train is broken as hell. Yeah, I've heard of how broken it is. Like something about like altering chance. <clears throat> and like the only stand that could beat it was like Tusk Act 4, which also was kind of broken as hell. Like damn, I do not want to get hit by Tusk Act 4. <clears throat> oh yeah, Tusk Act, wait, it's actually Tusk Act 4 and like, Ball Breaker, right? Man, I should really read part 7. Okay, Special Summon. They're going to activate Revolt. They're probably going to activate Elf as well. Nope, he has a uh, Reality Barrier, which uh, any attack gets absorbed by the barrier and gets sent to either a different uh, time period or reality. Ah. Okay, I'm getting it now. Yeah, I thought it had something to do with, like, altering chance. Maybe it was because my friend didn't explain- uh, my cousin didn't explain it well. Because they talked about love- probably because they talked about love train first, maybe? I don't know. But hell, there is a stand stronger than Tusk Act 4? Yeah, uh... I'd probably argue, uh, gold experience for Requiem. But there's also, like, Made in Heaven, but I haven't watched Part 6, so I don't really know everything about it other than the whole, like, speeding up time and whatnot, and also altering gravity. It is soft and wet and go beyond? Hmm. Yeah, I really need to read Part 8. Oh man, so many things are happening. Wait, is this target banish? If this card, you can banish one card on the field. Okay. Wait, I don't know why they activate Farajit. Lost four times, right? Yeah. Oh man, non-targeting Banish, my greatest weakness! Oh no! Hmm... Well, the one time I actually pulled out Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, I'm, fa I'm facing off against a non-targeting opponent. That's unfortunate. Um, Alright, I'm gonna attack... Add Relinquished only if I lose. And I don't plan on losing. Well, Firefox didn't get to add a card yet, so I'll put Relinquish first and then I'll put the Butcher.
Ah, shit. Man, I'm dead. <laughs> That's literally the only card they need. Oh, no. Yep, I... Is this game? No. But they, they're probably gonna get game. Yeah, they're gonna get their game on. They're gonna... S summon a guy. Somebody also suggested Flyfang. Hmm. Oh yeah, I remember that. Part 7 stands except for D4C and Tusk. I am only good for at one thing and nothing else. Hmm. I haven't really... Uh, I haven't read Part 7 yet, but isn't there like a guy who can literally turn back time for 7 seconds? That's like a really good st stand, right? Part 3 stands. I will break all of your bones uh, in, in 3 seconds. Yeah, pretty much. I honestly love the direction that Araki went for with the with the future stands. Like basically making them do like so many crazy things. It makes the manga way more interesting. Both manga and anime. Alright, here comes death. Unless <laughs> Bakana. Wait, wait, no, it's not Bakana. It's Bak. I summon the Dark Magician with my with my magic Karibo. The stand in the, uh, name for the one that reverses time uh, about seven seconds uh, was called Mando. Oh yeah, Mando. Yeah. I've heard about that guy. Something about the- he, he says something about the true man's world and whatnot. It's honestly a really good stand. Ah oh man, this is not the card I need. I would have preferred a magician's souls. Oh well. There is a series called Is in it? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, wait, what what are they doing? Now I can end the battle phase. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. Okay, uh, special summon Dark Magician from the deck. I mean, I think out of all the stands, I would probably say that... Uh, what was that stand called? Gains 200 attack and defense. I'm gonna be an <gasps> I'm gonna be annoying. But yeah, I think out of all the stands, I feel like that one stand... Uh, who, what was his name? I don't remember. It was a guy... He was from La Squadra. He had that one stand that... Ooh, wait. Graceful, Grateful Dead is also pretty scary, too. Yeah, I do not want to deal with Grateful Dead. Like, just the concept of this guy literally showing up and ages everyone to, like, death is freaking terrifying. But the, the guy I was thinking about initially was the guy who, like, creates a baby or something. Or something like that. Wait, maybe I should have... Hmm.
Oh hey, orbital hydrogen. <laughs> Let's just say soft and wet bubbles can absorb anything, including friction. Yeah, I've heard about something like that. Like, it can remove eyesight, it can remove friction. Some people theorize that it can remove, um, like, the concept of immortality. But that's only, like, a specific discussion. Like, people were discussing that, like, maybe Gappy can defeat cars. Yeah, Grateful Dead is a scary stand. Um, that one guy with the ba with the baby stand is also kind of scary. Um, Risotto Neuro's Metallica is also pretty fucking terrifying. <laughs> like, damn. That is argue like in my personal opinion, that's arguably the strongest stand. Ah, oh, shit. Well, there goes Eternal Soul. Wait, why did they do that? I guess they don't want to deal with, um... The thing. Despite, uh, his immense power, cars would be completely anni uh, annihilated by Dobby in battle. In a battle? Wait, which one's Dobby? Dobby, Dobby, Dobby. Cars has inc uh, has various incredible powers, but he is not fireproof. I mean, he is able to survive fire, but only for a short period of time, and is quite susceptible to uh, extreme heat. So, in a battle between the two, Dobby would quickly burn cars to to crisp and win the fight. At least that's in my opinion. Oh, My Hero Academia. Ah, yeah, that. That might be possible. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. Why did they banish that one? Alright, hopefully they actually hit me with the, the biggest guy. Oh, they had a rescue cat. That's pretty nice. But how much heat does would it take to to overpower Cars' regeneration? Cause it's very clear that like like he can survive a cup like he can survive in lava long enough to to create a countermeasure. I'm just gonna let this guy kill me. But if I, uh, but to defeat Soft and Wet, you would need Goku and Kumagawa. Honestly, uh, in my personal opinion, I really don't like it whenever people bring up Goku. Um, in like, in like fight scenarios, especially when people treat him like the strongest, because he's not even the strongest in his own verse. Um, but anyway, let, let me see what I should add. I've seen a couple of people, like, made different, uh, say different things on which they should add. Oh yeah, relinquished, that's what it was. Alright, I'm gonna add relinquished. Relinquished might actually be kind of good. Relinquished. Just normal old relinquished. Hmm. I think I think 
think I should still go first. Oh, oh yeah, one. That's nice. Alright, we're at our fifth loss. I gotta remember that. Because at our fifth loss, we're going to have to not only add another card, but we also have to replace another card. People think Gojo and Sukuna could beat uh, Kid Boo, which is hilarious. Oh yeah, Kid Boo, the guy who would literally blow up a planet on the wind. <laughs> Honestly, Sukuna is also a funny discussion to me because, like, he's like, yeah, he's the strongest in his own verse, but I don't think he's strong enough to deal with like other people either. Like, Gojo, maybe, and that's only because of Infinity. But everything- oh wait, shit, I didn't mean to- mm. Wrong card. But yeah, it's only because of Infinity that, like, people talk about Gojo being the strongest. a Prince's Illusion Magician and discard Magician Circle. Yep, because if he finds out that he can't hit and touch Gojo, Kid Boo would just blow the planet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's also funny how, like, people seem to misunderstand um, what the characters mean when they say, like, Kid Boo is more dangerous than, than uh, Super Boo. It doesn't mean that Super Boo is is weaker. It just means that Kid Boo is more unpredictable. And Lord Beerus could obliterate Gojo. I'm not really sure about that though. Cuz well, it's mainly because I don't really know how much Infinity can protect him. So could Hakai even get to him? I don't know. Can I battle you? Mm. Sure. I'll just have to... I'll just make a... A new room in a bit. Maybe after this duel. Also, welcome to the streams, no hands, yeah? I hope you enjoy your stay here. could be Gojo up in the easy clap. I can't really make a... I can't really put... Uh, I can't really make a comment there because, once again, I don't know how much Infinity can protect Gojo. Considering that, like, Sukuna could still take him down. I still also believe that, like, 
I still think that Giorno can beat everyone though. I mean, Wally West was fast enough to outrun the Big Bang. But is, but is that infinity though? Ah, shit. Am I dead? Yeah, I think I'm dead. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Plus, comic, cosmic... Uh, Fear Garo is powerful enough to do a Gamma Ray Burst? Hmm. Yeah. I still believe that Saitama can beat Goku, no problem. Especially since Saitama's whole point is that he's a running gag. He's kind of... I wouldn't say he has Toon Force, but he kind of is supposed to be like that. So he could also have a chance to beat Gojo? Like, through radiation? That'd be funny. <laughs> Wait, but also can ra- Hmm, but that's also like another thing, like, could you- Could you theoretically use, um... Could you theoretically, like- Because, like, I don't remember how Infinity works, it's like he gets to decide what can touch him and what can't, and there's always an infinity distance. So does this mean that he can like make like radiation not even get near him? Hmm. I still don't know how infinity works. <laughs> Unless it's ultra instinct plus key times uh, 10,000. I don't know. I feel like maybe like, I feel, I still think Saitama can be Goku. Saitama has always been consistent with his strength. Like, even at his most serious, he can defeat, like... Well, I wouldn't say at his most serious. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out the words that describe it. Like, even against, like, the strongest characters in the verse, he did beat that guy in like seven punches, right? Basically, hmm, the closer the enemy gets, the slower the they get until complete stop. That's how Gojo's barrier works. Hmm. Crazy. Damn. They really stole my monster just to like send it away. Yeah, I might actually lose this one. sense of whiplash ever. Alright, we're gonna activate Elf Lich. There is a power scale based off of Sukuna's fingers and Garp goes 30, 30 which is past the max. <laughs> is Garp that strong? I didn't know that.
Then again, I haven't seen One Piece, so... Yeah, he... He went head-to-head -head with Goldie Roger? Hmm. Yeah, who went head-to-head -head with, uh, with Whitebeard, which... Prime Whitebeard, right? So yeah, he is definitely very strong. Hmm. Okay. Speaking of which, uh, I might be dead. Like, this is my best Hail Mary. Summoning Outlich in a freaking Dark Magician deck. this now. Don't just summon the big boy and kill me. Alright, well, now that I lost, it's time to, to, this is my sixth lost. So, we're gonna add a card, and we're also gonna replace a card, so, hmm. should one day try his arc deck? That would be fun to try. It's a lot of ultra rares though, so it might take a while. Hmm. Alright, so which card should I add now? If I don't uh, get any results, I might look up through my chat and like go for the the cards that some people suggested. Slifer? <laughs> Alright. I'll go for the cool looking Slifer. Hmm. Okay, if that's all. I think I might add Fly Fang. Someone earlier suggested it. But I don't think they're here now. And no one's really saying anything else, so I'm gonna go for Fly Fang. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. If this card inflicts battle damage to the opponent at the end of the battle phase, banish this card until your next standby phase. Interesting. Okay, as for which card I should replace, uh, which card should I replace then? Yo, I, I'm still here. Oh, that's great. I was actually, I was actually worried um, because you didn't say anything for a while. I'll make the, I'll make the room in a bit. Hmm. All right. I think I'll replace. Um, I think I might replace Magician's Rod then. Yeah. Okay. So now we have this mess. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a room. Uh, tell me. Uh, no hands. Yeah. Tell me what. Um, what your name is. Um, in the. In the thing. In the. Your in-game name. That's what I meant. Add Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragon. I already added the Fly Fang, my bad. I'll be sure to add Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal, uh, Metal Darkness, Dragon in the next one, though. Okay. So, here's the room ID. I should probably put it up. Room ID... Six one three five oh two six one three five oh 
to if yeah So yeah, I'll be sure to wait for you, no hands, yeah? Just tell me when you're in. Are you are you there? Hmm. Oh yeah, I need to remember to change my deck first. I don't want to accidentally go into sharks on acid. I don't even know which sharks on acid it is. Um, okay. Um, hey, no hands, yeah. Are you the, the one named, uh, Why You Mad? I'm here? Ah, alright. So I'm assuming that's you. Alright, I'm ready to do it. I'm gonna count this as either, like, if I lose this, I'm gonna count this as one of my losses. So that... You know, I'm definitely gonna have to add a card after after I lose. Okay, looks like I'm going second. Oh boy. Hold on. Must be special summoned by tripping two level six or higher spellcaster monsters and cannot be summoned by other ways. During either player's turn, when a trap card is activated, you can negate the activation and if you do destroy it. <laughs> oh no. This sucks. This card must be face up on the field you know, to activate uh to activate and resolve this effect. That is such a, that is such a dumb thing to add, because who's gonna Book of Moon this? Alright, I'm gonna activate Infinite Impermanence. What? Forbidden Chalice. But why? Special summon your boy. Summoning your boy. Ah, shit. Or, well, there it goes, fly thing. <laughs> Unless... Hata! You fool! I have the secrets of dark magic.
I can now summon this one. I'm gonna attempt to summon Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Just because it will be funny. Sword Soul of Summit. Hmm. Oh shoot, the Irish Sword Soul. That's a oh boy. That's kinda bad. But hey, at least I can draw a card. Wait to summon the Sorcerer of Dark Magic. If I die, that'll be fine. I get to summon the Sorcerer. Okay. So now it's Chi Xiao time. Chi Xiao adds uh, the Long John Silver. The Long One is here. Shoot, they got another Sacred Sword Soul of Summons. <clears throat> Ooh boy, this might be bad. Wait, they might actually banish my stuff. Oh no. Hmm. This is kind of unfortunate, not gonna lie. But they seem to be playing the, the Sword Soul structure deck, so I think I'll be fine. As long as, like, I manage to topple Chenging. Oh. Okay, so they apparently don't know how to... Summon this one, summon this one, uh, summon you over here, summon you, summon the other one to the left, to the left. Eternal Soul. That's kind of decent. Okay. I think I know what to do. We're gonna summon the Rod. I just realized they have a sort. They have Grandmaster. What am I doing? Oh no. Oh no, bro. Oh right, I forgot, Chi Xiao can't negate the first turn. Yeah, I'm dead. Cause then, uh, Ch Big Chungus is gonna banish my stuff. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Oh no, and now they summon the Irish Sword Soul. Who has never been summoned since the... since release. Holy shit. There she is.
Alright, there goes everybody. This is not the best case scenario. They're just gonna negate my guys, and they'll get a bigger guy. Oh no. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll admit defeat on this. I fell asleep. Oh. Oh, dang. You good? You must have been tired then. Yeah, right now, uh, just to catch you up on things, right now I'm dueling, um, dueling a new viewer. I think I'm gonna lose this. I could summon Dark Magician, but I know that that it's not gonna do anything. <laughs> or should I? Should I do it? What? Wait, why didn't why what why didn't they attack? Okay. Well, it's time for me to summon the big uh the the dark magician man. You left both of my dark magicians alone, you fool. Ah shit. Oh, well, there I go. <laughs> there goes my my eternal soul. My soul is no longer eternal. That is such a misleading name when you really think about it. <clears throat> summon dark magician. No, summon dark magician with no monsters left in the field. You know what? I'm going out in my own terms. I'm summoning the Bistro Butcher. That's my strongest card. Bro, you can't even let me like defeat like defeat you, quote unquote, with the butcher. You coward. <laughs> you coward, you fool. You The butcher only wanted to butch. To my butcher. Sorry, I already promised someone that I'll add a uh, red eyes metal dragon. Or was it red eyes metal dragon or was it red eyes darkness metal? Butcher, <laughs> red eyes, butcher dragon. <laughs> that would be an insane fusion. Could you imagine? Oh wait, shoot. Oh wait, I didn't mean to press that. But anyway, good game. Good game. Uh, what was their name? No hands. Good game, no hands. Now, I'm gonna go back to, to rank. No 
no, no, no. Bistro, uh, Bistro Eyes Butcher Dragon. <laughs> GG's, GG's. All right, so let me see. What did they say? It was like Red Eyes Metal Darkness Dragon. I don't know if that's the same as Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Considering, you know, how weird they are with the words. Red Eyes Black Metal, Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Hold on. Hold on, I need to check everything. Red Eyes Soul, Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Alright. Oh boy, this is starting to become more and more of a mess. So this is our first uh, loss out of the three. Oh boy, I'm hungry. Dang, and I just ate earlier. Oh no, Terra Top. Oh man, my stomach is rubble rumbling. Like dang, if I were in a cartoon, like that would be hurt from for miles. just realizing things. Oh man. Okay, adventure with level 3 guys. They could be playing uh, Phantom Knights. But I'm, <coughs> but I'm not entirely sure. Alright, they're playing regular old adventure, who knows. Anything can happen. Griffin. Hi, Griffin. Hmm. All right. I think I can take this. Yeah, I knew there was going to be some Phantom Knights in here. Phantom Knights and Psychic Tracker. Maybe this is just a, a level 3 turbo. I mean, Phantom Knights do play Psychic Tracker. So they can XZ summon. Summon into Phantom Knights, Rusty Bardish. Are we going to send another Phantom Knights away? See, during the main phase, you can send one Phantom Knights monster and then set up Phantom Knights spell trap. They send this guy. Setting Shade Brigadine. It's crazy how I haven't really encountered all the the crazy cards yet. Or like not 
not really often enough, in my opinion. Watch, Fate is gonna be like, ha, huh, you say that, and now I'll give you all of them. I'll give you Chaos Max Dragon and Elfage. Add conscription after after this? After I lose? I don't think I'll lose. I'm too good to lose. They only have one negate. What they're gonna do what are they gonna do with one negate? Hmm? But yeah, I'll be sure to add cons uh, conscription if I lose. If I lose. What's that? Artifact? Oh. Wait. No. No, I do not want to get the, the freaking... Oh shoot. Yep, they are now going to summon... They're gonna set an artifact. Yo, I thought I was Gojo for a second, but turns out I am, uh... I am Yon Yamcha. Man, I'm dead. Um... What are they gonna call, though? Wait, no, wait, I can't even, like... I forgot, it locks out, like, all of it. All, like... All the things. Yep, there's Fusion Destiny. Now they're gonna go into Scythe. Ooh boy. Just one negate, you say? Yeah. One negate of and a floodgate, apparently. Oh wow, Ash Blossom, that would have been so Wonderful, don't you think? Uh, great. Fantastic. All right, please get me magician souls. Oh wow, so an Omni Negate, a floating monster, a Floodgate that locks me out of the freaking extra deck, and apparently Maxi. That is, that is quite the combo. Okay, 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 okay. So we have Magician Circle. And we still have, uh, we can still go into... I can only activate one, uh, one d dark magical circle per turn, right? Yeah. Okay, send you to the grave. Special summon a guy. We're gonna banish. Who do we want to banish? I don't know. I don't think it matters because they can just uh, negate with Wandering Griffin Rider. Netflix and uh, I was created by an uncharted live action adaptation with Tom Holland in it. Yeah. I remember I remember seeing it um 
like while I was going through YouTube and seeing like the commercial, I was just like, why are they making Tom Holland the protagonist? He does not give like who was the protagonist again? Nathan Drake? He does not give the same vibes as as the protagonist. Oh boy, Artifact Scythe. How lovely. Nathan, yeah? Hmm. But yeah, he, do he does not look like... He, he does not get the vibe. Yeah, I lose this. I'm not gonna be in waste time. He had it all. He had the DPE, he had the Griffin, he had the Scythe. He had the Max C, and I drew Ash Blossom afterwards. <laughs> they made him the protagonist because people generally like Tom Holland. I mean, that's true, but like... Hold on, I don't know that many actors. Uh, but I like, uh... I don't know. Chris Evans, and I'm, and I'm not gonna put him in like, but I'm not gonna put him in like every movie. Oh, right, right, I lost, I forgot, frick. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna surrender this, this won't count. Even if Nathan's supposed to look like Indiana Jones, yeah. Alright, this duel won't count. Uh, I'm gonna add conscription. I really need to use my other social medias. Like, I need to use Twitter to advertise my, my YouTube more often. Conscription. Uh, okay. What does this card do? Excavate the top card of your opponent's deck, and if the, and if it is a monster that can be normal summoner set, special summon it to your field. Otherwise, add that card to your opponent's hand. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is gonna be so unfortunate, but also really funny. Oh wait, am I going first or second? Okay, I'm going second. Oh hey, uh, Tamias and Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, I can do something with this. Wait, during your main phase, uh, you can special summon one dragon monster from your hand or graveyard. Cool. Okay, we're fighting against Noble Knights. Is this like pure? Oh, hold up. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Is this like pure Noble Knights? Maybe, I don't know. Oh boy. Alright, there's his soul day. Watch, I'm gonna draw a hand trap after this. That could have prevented everything. Okay. 
Wait, what did they send? Okay, they send like four cards so they can summon boars. Noble Arms Excalibur. You know, like, it's probably my biggest. <laughs> You're gonna top uh, uh, deck conscription, don't worry. That would be awesome. <clears throat> uh, Alright, whatever. You know, my biggest pet peeve is how, like, they have so many. Like, obviously, this is supposed to be, like, a reference to King Arthur and whatnot. But, like, it, it peeves me so much that they're, like, changing the name slightly. I don't know why. Maybe it's because, like, you know, they're, the names are fine. So there was literally no reason to... So there's, like, no reason to, like, change them. But, like, still, it's, it's like... Well, wait, 